A lot of people, among them Mr. Smith, wonder how the Corona app is supposed to work and how it can even save lives. And all of it is anonymous? Yes, it is. The Corona app connects via Bluetooth with other mobile phones nearby. In doing so, anonymous random IDs are exchanged and cannot be traced. If proximity and duration are sufficient for an infection with COVID-19, as here in this conversation with Mrs. Miller, the app saves each other's respective current IDs on the phone. This creates a contact list on each phone with only these IDs. Now, someone Mr. Smith has been close to over a longer period of time during the last two weeks suddenly notices symptoms. <coughs> oh, damn it! Is it COVID-19? Mrs. Miller tests positive. Her doctor confirms the diagnosis. She voluntarily reports that she's sick via the app. Her anonymous ID is added to a list of currently infected people. Every mobile phone with the app regularly calls up this list. And if there is an ID on it that is also in the user's own list of contacts on the phone, it warns the user. And now Mr. Smith is one of them. Even without showing any symptoms himself, he can now get tested or voluntarily self-quarantine. A problem with Corona is that you can be contagious without having any symptoms. This is where the Corona app can help stop the spread of infection. Until one reports themselves as infected, the anonymous IDs of others are stored exclusively on one's own mobile phone and then deleted automatically after the incubation period of three weeks. Personal data is not saved at any time. <coughs> Wishing everyone good health.